Hi, everybody. So the lesson for this week is a short one. Um, instead of having you learn about a new time period and meet somebody in the music industry this week, I am only having you learn about a new time period. And there are several reasons for that. But the biggest one is that um, the interview that I have for you to watch next time is a long one. Um, it's the one with the musician and it's about 40 minutes long. So this week you are only going to watch a lesson on the romantic time period. And the next time we have a lesson, you are only going to watch the interview with the musician. So I split it up to keep the lessons shorter, okay? So we have learned so far about the medieval times. We have learned about life and music in the Renaissance times. We have learned about life and music in the Baroque time period and the classical time period. And now we are up to the romantic time period. We are getting closer to the time period that we live in now. This is the last time period before we start to hit um, more current styles of music, okay? All right, enjoy. I'm gonna share my screen with you. Here we go. won a year supply of Gertrude and Pete Boggs Power Strength Hair Wax. Gertrude and Pete Boggs Power Strength Hair Wax. And you're excited? Very excited. How excited? So excited. Are you sure you want to put this on your hair? At least 8,000%. Well, go and smear it on your hair! <laughs> Okay, so how did you lose it, and what does it look like? Well, he's so big. And color? Gray. Name? Brian. I said I would watch him for Aunt Twelve, and now he's run off. <laughs> Sounds like an elephant. Well, then we don't need Quayvale. We need... Tarzan. <laughs> what uh, is a Tarzan? Well, you know. Uh, 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 oh, please, 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 please. I'm trying to think if I have seen an elephant. Don't talk to me like that. Like you, what? You, oh, you know what you do. I know that you don't know exactly what you're saying. I just bought the You know, 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 Man, there's so much emotion and drama in the shop today. Excitement, sadness, and anger. The romantic period. Man, all that drama and emotion in the shop, it reminds me of a new period in music called the romantic period, 1820 to 1910. We've had the Baroque period. All that fancy stuff, trills, turns, appoggiaturas, argy, appoggiatura, argy, appoggiatura. We've had the classical period. Neat, ordered, simple, balanced phrases. <laughs> And great melodies and Mozart and Beethoven. <coughs> you mean Beethoven and Mozart. Now it brings us forward to the Romantic period. <laughs> A period of great. <laughs> Emotion, not just love, but happiness, Woo! sadness, <laughs> and... 
the Romantic Period. Music with emotions and drama. from 1820 to 1910. It was a period of great <laughs> emotion. Abraham Lincoln was the president of the U.S. during the Civil War and the tallest president ever. That makes me happy. That's not even including my hat. Vincent Van Gogh, the great painter, was born, and later in life, he chopped off his ear. What did I do that for? Men wore suits with long coats and had enormous sideburns. <laughs> Ladies wore really bulky dresses, which must have been so annoying. Ugh. It was the period of steamboats. Railroads expanded like crazy. They were so much faster and easier transportation that they left the horse in the dust. Full of horse. Oh, brother. And Alfred Nobel invented dynamite. Then he nearly blew himself up. Oops. No way. Such a nice man. I was joking. So that's what happened in the romantic period. I'm so happy now. Romantic music expressed itself in loads of different ways. It was quieter. Pianissimo. And louder, fortissimo, than any music before it. Everything was more. Composers use more notes. Bigger chords. Quieter pieces were more delicate. The louder pieces had more volume. The orchestras were bigger. Everything was more, more, more. It was like supersized music. In fact, if the romantic period was a cake, it would have been the biggest cake of them all. <laughs> the music was louder, <laughs> stronger, and more dramatic than any music before it. Here are some of the greatest romantic composers. Great romantic composers. Number one, Tchaikovsky. A man who got married and immediately left his wife. I do. Hello, cutie. Hey! See ya! Come back here! It's not very romantic. Number two, Schumann. He invented a finger muscle machine which injured his finger so he couldn't play piano anymore. Ow! Counterproductive. Number three, Brahms, who had an enormous beard. Number four, Wagner. Rock star of today. He had loads of girlfriends and money. Look, there's <laughs> but no Learjet. As we know, the Romantic period was full of emotion. On my table are four boxes. Denzel, Roberta, lift the lid and you'll hear music for four seconds. And all you have to do is. Feel that emotion! And then draw a face. Ready, Denzel? Give me a number. Box number three. Box number three. Go! The music stopped. Denzel, how did you feel? I felt sad. Sad? And Roberta? I felt melancholy. Melancholy? Ooh! Okay, Roberta, your choice. One, two, or four? Box number two. Box number two. A good choice. Ready? Feel that emotion! And stop! Roberta, how'd you feel? 
I felt scared. Scared? Ooh, Denzel. I felt angry. Angry? Ooh. Okay, Denzel, give me another number. One or four? Box number four. And feel that emotion! Boom! <laughs> How did you feel? I felt really happy. Cool. Roberta? I felt happy too. Happy too! Excellent! So did I. Romantic music. It was full of emotions. Happy, sad, angry, afraid, all kinds of things. No time for box number one. Quick! To the phone box! What do you think about this last one? I don't know. Open it. No, you do it. You do it, chicken. <laughs> Make me happy. <laughs> if I look in box one, the cream pie joke, it never gets old. <laughs> Sometimes that guy just cracks at me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 it's <tasty>. Splat. <laughs> sit with me so we can talk about football. Hey, can I sit with you guys? Because I like what's in your sandwiches. Oh, please, can we sit together? I want to sit over there. This is ridiculous. Fortunately, Carl Maria von Weber, a romantic composer, came up with a seating plan to solve this where to sit problem. <laughs> My orchestra diagram! <laughs> right, thanks to Carl Maria von Weber, we now have a seating plan. Yeah. Think of it as musical chairs. Shall we? So, oh, oh, did you go? <laughs> So there we have it, the Romantic Period Orchestra. It was much bigger than the Classical Period Orchestra. More violins, more violas, more cellos, more basses, more brass, vowels on the trumpet. Let's hear this supercharged, romantic, dramatic, romantic orchestra. Hit it! <laughs> Remember, the romantic period was full of emotion. The orchestra was so much bigger, and they even wrote a diagram to show people where to sit. Famous romantic composers, Wagner, Tchaikovsky, Verdi, Schumann, Brahms, composers wrote massive pieces for loads of people. And Tchaikovsky even wrote a piece for two orchestras, brass band, and cannons. Did someone say cannon? Must be Tchaikovsky. Romantic music, emotion, and all that. Ready? One, two, three. Fire! Marvelous. The romantic period. I love it. Ready, men? John! It's been a very emotional day in the shop today. Let's see how everyone's getting on. <laughs> Jason, how's the hair? It was hair remover. Oh. Now here's a piece of music that combines famous piano pieces by romantic composers and the house band. Let's do it. The first piece is by a great composer from the romantic period called Schumann. 
Emotion, drama, and fear. about the romantic time period. <laughs> 